All right, YouTube. Today we're going to play Brandon Holloway's recent Death Shadow list here. It's got, um, you cut down a bobble in order to fit a fifth one mana removal spell in the deck. Either the second push or the third bolt, whichever is your preference there. Um, it's just kind of a little bit of a change. It cuts off his anglers a little bit, but. I hope it's it, like it, it, it. You cut the anglers off at the cost of less, um, less just dead draws in the light game. Then you move over to the sideboard. Um, more removal, just kind of hope to handle the humans' decks and <clears throat> just enough graveyard hate and counter spells to kind of cover the rest of your bases. But I'm pretty excited. I did pretty well with this list earlier today, so hopefully, we can replicate it. So let's return to details. I actually beat Dredge twice in this league here. I'm right at the point where I actually just think Dredge is a good matchup. Like I only have four sideboard cards to bring in, and I guess five if you can't. Like I bring Stubbin, but it's not great. There you go, check my dog. Hey Phil. <coughs> Come here. Come here. Billy. Come. Come here. Game boy. Here. I got Philly this year. A he has a Halloween costume. I don't know if we can get him over here or not, but let me check this out. He is a he is a referee. So that when the kids come, I might have to leave at some point during the stream just because we're going to have uh, kids come for uh, trick-or-treating. So I'll have to, like, pop over there, let Phil play with the kids, and then I'll be back. Well, on the die roll, special K. I don't recognize this name. I feel like I should, though. Uh, we got no lander. And I will keep this one. There's a little bit of a debate if there's a land on top, whether I wait until next turn to cast my thought seize. Oh, one second. Hey, buddy. Come on, Phil. Come on. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, here, Phil, everyone. Hey, none of that, buddy. Okay, so we're going to keep this hand, put this on top, and I think we're just going to pass. We'll work the double thought seize next turn, if need be. All right, so we're playing against Ironworks. So this double thought seize is going to be pretty nice. So let's check this out. Okay, so I kind of just want to take Trawler Trawler because if I don't take the Trawler, then um, they're just going to get something back. So we're going to actually go take this Trawler. We're going to go fetch another watery grave and we're just going to see our visions work our work our draw step a little bit and we don't want either of these 
and we will pass the turn. <coughs> it's nice that we have Angler. Angler's a much better threat in this matchup than Shadow, just because of Grove of the Burn Willows and Dismember. So let's take a look at their top card. We're drawing an Echo Wellspring. Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn. Okay, so this is their kind of just cheat way out of it. All right, we'll go like that, and then we are one off getting nasty. So, so we will look to do that next turn. Oh, we can go Thoughtseize and Angler, which is nice. All right, let's do this. All right, so kind of interesting. We know they have three. One, two, three. Next turn, they're going to go get Ironworks. So I think we're just going to get our threats down here and then hold up Dismember for next turn. But we're going to need both of these creatures in here. Shorten this clock as much as possible because they're likely just not going to do anything in Crackless Inventor's Fair. I think they should just pass. Okay, that works too. Oh, they're gonna if they do this now, they're gonna get blown out by this thought seed. Unless they have they're just sift in for an ironworks while I'm tapped out. So we're gonna crack them for nine next turn at least. They're gonna go to twelve. So this is the Alpha Maya Coast. They still have two floating. Yeah, this is just super loose. Yeah, this is super loose of them. Because it's just bad to get rid of... Um, yeah, that's a nice draw. Doesn't really do anything, actually. It's actually just bad to get rid of things before you're going to cast your Ironworks. I'm really faint. Hey, Phil. Hey. 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 Silly boy. Come here, bud. You're okay. We have trick-or-treaters coming around tonight, so Philly can hear them outside. He gets a little nervous. Hey, none of that, buddy. Hey, buddy, I said no. Okay. Oh. Oops, I accidentally knocked out my swing thing. Let me move this around here a little bit. That should help out a little bit with the noise. I'm on my normal decibels according to the stream, but so we're gonna thought seize this ironworks. Hopefully there's not another one. So they have another scrap trawler, which is okay. And then again, we're just gonna do as much damage as possible. Get this blood crypt. We can't pay four life for the dismember, but that's okay. <coughs> I streamed it a little bit a couple days a couple days ago, yeah. But it's the first time I've been playing it seriously in a little while. Like put actual thought into what I'm doing, I guess. So our opponent can go. Buried Ruin, but actually if they had a land, okay. So this is good night, Irene. Pay two life, we thought sees, we dismember this thing, and then we should be in good shape. I think it's always pretty good, to tell you the truth. Like I think that people shy away from it because it's difficult to play. It has a tough humans matchup. And in some ways, humans is like a better, a better deck than this because they're both aggressive disruptive decks i think shadow has a higher ceiling than humans but it's it's more difficult to play so some people are just like i'm just gonna go over this deck which is fine i just enjoy playing this deck i think there's a lot going on i think i have a lot of control over what's going on so that i can 
I can understand when I make mistakes. Bring these in. Bring these in. <clears throat> I like to cut all of my removal against this deck except this members because I've got to hit Psy. And interacting with this deck on the um, interacting with this deck on a I don't exactly know how to say this. Trying to play removal spells with a creature just isn't very good. I might want this fourth Snapcaster Mage, but that could also be a little slow. And if I was going to bring in the fourth Snapcaster Mage, I would cut this meeting. I could cut a land. Which is either being summoned, trying to stop pigeons, and this one has spoiled it. I don't think humans is a lot more busted. I think humans is like. Humans is, humans is easier to play, which I think that people are going to gravitate towards that. But I don't want to say like humans is a bad deck. Humans is a very good deck. It's difficult to play. This deck is very difficult to play. I've played this for a while, and when I'm not on my game, this deck doesn't reward me. I could cut a Shadow for a Snapcaster Mage. I, honestly, I kind of like doing that because Shadow is not super great in this matchup. So I'm going to cut a Shadow and keep a Snap. Because between Engineer Explosives and Grove of the Burn Willow, Shadow's not very reliable. And we have a fine hand. Pretty explosive. I'm going to cycle my Street Wraith on one. Because I'm going to be using my mana and I want to hit. make sure I hit my land drop. See, this is a shadow problem. Well, at least we hit an angler. So we're going to prioritize definitely getting this angler online. I could save this for the Serum Visions, which I think I'm going to do. Now that we have the Gurmag angler, I think that we can wait. Um... I'm going to start with this, because I wouldn't mind hitting like a Scrap Tall or a Mirror Retriever and having this nav a, an Ironworks. Okay, so size scarier than, um, than Scrap Trawler. Yeah, see, they just have triple, they have triple um, Grove, so there's just no way that this Death Shadow is going to survive. That's why I think it's okay to board a Shadow out in this matchup. I know Magnus Lantos did that. If we hit a land here, we can actually go Thought Seize into. Just on the Facebook list of the group. I was thinking of the same time this weekend at a 1K. Yeah, it's it's not um I'm just playing Brandon's deck. Like I think it's I think it's pretty I think it's pretty close to where you want to be. So because we hit, we're just gonna go right up the curve here. Like this takes Scrap Trawler, and then we get Nasty. And then we're going to take the Ironworks. <coughs> no, I'm a big Jace fan, and I like Jace a lot in this deck, but unfortunately, it is not meant to be. I'm going to, I think I want to Thought Scour on my turn. They have, a, they have an avenue to get there. I'm going to Thought Scour on my turn to hit a land. Okay, we did. We have, they have an avenue to get, see, they could have just sacked right there and then got the Scrap Taller into play, which is probably their best bet because it provides a blocker. I, I should have played Shadow. That was so stupid. That was so stupid. That was so stupid. Yeah, it's very good in all the grinding matchups. Because I'm, 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 I'm at three. They're not going to, you know, nug me far enough with this Grove to do anything. Yeah, I guess was, this was all stupid. They call me Big Stupid's Hubby. All right. 
flex. Take a look. All right, just get the claim. Crack in. I'm pretty sure my opponent would be dead if I had played the Shadow last turn. But, like, they also haven't been giving me life, and they should be giving me life at every single opportunity they can. So my opponent can give me three. Okay, so I'm just going to play this tapped. <coughs> yeah, I'm a big Jace fan. I don't like either of the Lilianas. I think both the Lilianas are pretty poor at the moment. Um... I think both the Lilianas are pretty poor, so if you want something to be able to grind with bigger decks, then I definitely think that the answer is Jace. I think Jace is very good in this deck, because Jace's minus one is actually, like, very good against this deck. All right. It's kind of a little bit of a layup. That's what Shadow Decks will do. Shadow Decks, similar to humans, are very good against the spell-based combo. Um, Vegan, he's thinking about, um, ley lines out of my sideboard. No, I think it's actually very, it's actually pretty defensible. As from playing Ironworks before, I think you're supposed to bring Nature's Claim in in the dark a lot. Control version. I don't know control version. So, like, I bring in this. This is how Brandon wants me to sideboard if I play against him. He wants me to bring in this, these six. And the Snapcaster Mage and the Fatal Push. One, two, eight, and then cut four, or cut three, three, and two. That's how he wants me to sideboard. So if we play against it tonight, that's how I'm going to sideboard. <coughs> no, it's three, excuse me, it's three, two Street Wraiths, three Stubs, two Anglers, and a Thought Scamper. Oh, we're playing against Joe Lissette. All right, this hand's pretty solid. So I'm going to keep this. We're not going to looting on one because we have a stub. Wow, I'm only going to five, four. Jeez. <coughs> yeah, I'm only going to three. That's like... Ugh. Put a card on the bottom. I'm gonna feel kind of stupid. Oh, we're definitely gonna stop that. So let's get a watery grave. Hit this. This is a matchup where looting is pretty nice because, like, you you don't care about cards in the early game. You care about um. You care more about just, like, getting something, like, enacting your game plan. Like, you don't need a lot of cards to do it. So we're going to be able to get nasty. We have to delve over our looting, but, like, whatever. Um, I could just ditch, I could just ditch land bolt, which I kind of like doing. We're going to find lands anyways, and each one of these spells will be pretty relevant at some point. <coughs> if we can't get an even humans matchup, this deck would be great. Yes, I would agree. Like, I would agree that the, that maybe, that potentially maybe the only bad matchup in the metagame is humans. And then all the rest of them is just like, that it's like fine to how you operate. Like Ben Jones posted, which you, you can look Ben Jones up on Twitter, but Ben Jones posted some data from Mort that showed over like a, a, a absurd amount of games that he only loses to humans. He's only sub 500 matchup is humans. I think blue white's fine without Jace. It's very good once you add Jace. We want the battle rages. I 
I kind of want to just be able to bolt myself, but I could just bring in surgicals. Just because, like, surgicaling a, surgical a threat isn't bad. Like, this is like the where we board in, like, the meme about how you board in surgical in every single matchup. Like, I kind of, I kind of like going like this. Whenever I play against Tron. Mm, Snapcast mage can be a little slow. <coughs> but we're going to keep him. All right. We're going to go like this. Just guys going terminus and secure against the thing, which is great. Yes. No, I actually think that blue white is a good matchup for these shadow decks because they used to play Supreme Verdict and Spreading Seas, and that was really bad. But now they're just this uber clunky deck that's like, they just can never beat a stubborn denial. Like, you, you just never can beat a stub. So this is interesting. This hand's very disruptive, but we need a threat. We've got all the disruption we need besides that, and we can dig. The problem is, because of this Faithless looting, we have to get Blood Crypt. It's probably okay, because it sets up an early Delve card, and we can, like, hit an early Shadow. So I'm going to keep this hand, especially being on the draw. It also makes the going down a card much less, like, much easier. And that's not a bad one to hit. So... I'm going to lead off with an Inquisition, uh, probably. Yeah, I'm going to lead off with an Inquisition. Because we, we might want to hit a, um, a tower. All right, we're going to take one of these Sylvan Scryings. <coughs> Not a tower, uh, whatever the dumb thing that blows everything up is, an O-Stone. Dismembers for Thrag Tusk or um, Thrag Tusk or Thought Knots here after sideboard and just dismembering your own thing to create a clock. All right, land. Okay, that's not good. So whenever casting this, we don't need a second one of these. We will ship it. That surgical would have been sweet a turn later, a turn earlier. But land is nearly a land. <coughs> okay. Well, at least we're going to be able to take, like, remove a threat of Joe's from the game. We're getting punished for searching for, uh, we're getting punished for searching for a uh, red source, but, like, that's life. I'm going to take this Worm Coil engine. I mean, the Karn's bad, too. The Worm Coil's bad. This is all pretty bad. But, like, if we draw out of this, I can stub a Karn. And, like, I know that they have four Karns in their deck, so, like, I'm eliminating more, um... I'm eliminating more draws by taking out the Karn. But later in the game, the Karn is beatable. We just drew another Ballista. The worm coil engine is not beatable right now. So let's see how they sideboarded. So Joe's got no surgicals or no dismembers, which is good. Why not take the Karn and double surgical? What do you mean double surgical? They're tipsy. Because I only have one target if I take the Karn with a discard spell, right? Okay, so, yeah, so this is what's going on. Is it three Thrag Tusks? No Thought Knot Seers? Let me just take a quick picture. <coughs> Plays this forest. Here comes a Ballista for... So he's got one more Ballista in his hand. So there's Ballista, Forest. All right, so we're going to be able to get nasty.
So the Gurmag angler is going to buy us some time. Okay, chromatic sphere. Joe drew that. <coughs> Oh, he ripped it. Yeah, we're dead. Because that gives him Tron, slams Karn. Like, Karn, Karn was not... Yeah, we needed a little land there. He had a Worm Coil and a Walking Ballista in the graveyard already. Or can I not understand? No, the Walking Ballista wasn't in the graveyard. Yeah, the Ballista was in his hand. He had two Ballistas in his hand. All right, let's. Now I'm nervous. I usually board a land out against Tron, but like now being like results oriented, I'm all scared. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Revealed zone. I'm just gonna submit it. I always sideboard like this. It sometimes it gets us, but <clears throat> Huffo died. Oh, that's too tight. That so I'm pissed. Oh, died. And... <laughs> Never played RuneScape. I've had friends that have played it. I would like to play first. So this hand's pretty solid. We get to see a lot of cards, so I'm going to keep it. We don't have a threat, but we have a discard spell. We can bobble. We, we have to look at one. We have to look at a lot of cards here. So yeah, We don't want that one. Uh, let me see how many red cards we have. We don't have that many red cards, so I'm just going to get another blue-black land. I'm going to wait a turn on this. Because if we hit a Seer and Visions, we're going to want to Street Wraith after the Visions. All right, so let's just take the map. Slow Joe down a little bit. I actually didn't even see what he drew with this. Put the card on top, so it's probably another Tron piece. <clears throat> it's probably another Tron piece or a way to dig. Snap is 3 CMC, so I think I'll get on 15. I usually always do that, though. All right, nice. So let's hit here. All right, that's not a bad draw because it, it like, Worst comes to worst, it's going to like supercharge us. And we know we can run this 2 2 shadow out because Joe doesn't have any dismembers. So there's Urza Power Plant. Cast this. <coughs> We're going to put this on the bottom. We're going to put this on top. I'm going to dismember my shadow at the end of their turn. Speed this clock up a little bit. Though I might just hold my... I might just hold my disdainful stroke now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to crack and hold my disdainful stroke and then flash my snapcaster mage in. If Joe doesn't do anything. Because if they hit a Tron land, like Ballista or Thrag Tusk is pretty annoying. Okay, so they hit a Tron land. <clears throat> so land here to take care of this walking ballista would be sweet. Don't okay. Or land battle range just wins the game. Yeah, that's uh it's a good way to start the stream off. <coughs> I 
And we know like there's no dismembers, so like this is just good all the way around. So So we're good. Moto's tweaking out a little bit. Take some time while Moto is losing their mind. Say, my name's Dylan Hovey. Thank you guys for showing up to my stream tonight. We're part of the Card Hoarder Network. So if you have any Magic Online needs, you should check out Card Hoarder. Uh, they're the best bot chain in the business. Sponsor pro teams. They just do they do a lot for streamers in the community. Um, Gamer Craze is where I learned to play Magic. That's linked below. <coughs> Um, that's linked below. You should check that out. Um, that's where I learned to play Magic. They foster a college environment, so they have a pretty competitive system. And then uh, if you ever want to check out my stream and you miss it, you can check it out on YouTube. And check me out on Twitter if you want to chat about Magic or chat about my dog. Or beer. That's pretty much what I tweet about. Yeah, topping the angler was kind of a pun. Like, I just didn't need it. We would have needed another land for that to work out. I'm sending out a cute tweet, so this is okay. You guys want to see the cutest tweet of all time? Because we have uh, we got kids coming over tonight, and if I felt well, I would have dressed up as my as a basketball player. Man, this picture is so dark. Oh, my scrons is out of date. Oh, no. I had to pull this over here to see if this is actually what this looks like. Oh, it looks better over here. Want to get a real thing? It says, happy, happy Halloween from our referee, reminding you not to go too hard in the paint on Halloween. This is the cutest tweet of all time. <coughs> I was never gone, Ben. I would like to play first, yes. I was kind of gone. I was frustrated. I was taking a break. This hand's like meh, but you're gonna keep it. Like you know, you're not gonna ship these hands back, especially on the play. We're playing against something like super degenerate. We can bolt ourselves. It's a little awkward because we're incentivized to fetch steam vents on one. Uh, I think what we're I think we're just going to fetch this away, get a steam vents. I don't think we want a second lightning bolt. Even though it could enable shadow next turn if we don't draw anything off these two draw steps. Alright, looting. I still like can't get over this card, Ben. Alright, so I'm guessing against planes, our bolt's gonna be nice. Back to the good version. Yes. That's just what Brandon wanted to do, and I told him I'd play his list. All right, one, two. So against planes, we're either playing against like a blue-white control deck, or we're playing against some white shitty deck. I'm gonna guess that we're playing against some like white creature deck. So I'm gonna discard this. I think I'm going to discard the Snapcaster Mage because we need to cycle this Street Wraith <coughs> in order to land. I could just discard the Death Shadow, but I don't really want to like have this be a Path to Exile and then only have one threat. Yeah, that's what I think. So I'm going to feel dumb if I if I hit a if I would have hit a uh, fetch not a fetch land if I'd have hit like a Snapcaster there or something, because, like, I'm just delving away my entire graveyard. <coughs> you ditched Wraith, even though it couldn't let you get Angler down, or are you just, like, you don't want to feed into whatever this crap is right here? All 
All right, so if you're playing in some sort of white red, white red hate berries, hate bearish kind of deck. Oh, nice, dude! I love it when I draw the second angler. I would have ditched the Wraith if the Wraith didn't allow me to play to get nasty on this turn. Field. Oh. That's interesting. So here's a big question. Am I bolting myself? Yeah. Am I bolting myself to play another Shadow, or am I bolting this? I have two more bolts in my deck and two more Snapcaster Mages. I think because my hand's so cheap, I'm just going to untap. All right, well, now I think I'm bolting myself because we can play around a Wrath, and then I get this Shadow into play. Because then we can actually like legitimately start to pressure this Gideon. That's nice. So we're probably playing against some white, red. Yeah, we're playing against like the Sun and Moon deck. But this is kind of greedy, greedy because my opponent easily could land, could like have a Wrath of God sitting in their hand somewhere. <coughs> and if they Wrath, then like I'd want this stub. But I think we, we need this in order to, to fool around with this, uh, to deal with this Gideon. I'm not going to commit anything more to the board. Because we have the Gideon covered next turn. And we can play Angler. Squadron Hawk. Squadron Hawk's so annoying. So now I don't think it's Sun and Moon. I think it's just like Martyr Proc. So let's get this out of here. Make sure I actually tapped on the click the squadron hawk because I can push my angler. So now we can like check out what's going on, play another shadow. It's gonna be tough without a battle rage. This deck's just like really annoying to play against. Oh, wow, they have two Wraths and a Sarkin. Oh, my God. All right, so we're, we're actually not getting around this. I don't think we can win if our opponent hits a land. <coughs> so here's the, big, here's the big brain question. Can we, we can't win if our opponent hits a land, I don't think. With how our hand's set up, I don't think we can slog through this. So I think I'm just going to take this Squadron Hawk, slam a Shadow, and hope to hit a Fetch Land. Because Fetch Land wins me the game. So I've got nine. I've got three more Shocklands is 12. Four Thoughtseize is 16. Three Wraiths is 19. Uh, two Bolts is... 22, two Snapcasters is 24. <clears throat> so if I just like take this Squadron Hawk, knock the top of their deck, I have an over 50% chance of killing them next turn. And God damn it, that's what we're going to do. Oh my god. Woo! That was fucking rude. Holy shit. That's the same thing as a wrath of god. What's their hand again? This is still their hand. Yeah, I think we're good. 
I think we're good. I just I don't think I'm gonna play this game anymore. I am sick, Rafi. <coughs> I just have an addiction. Oh, hang on. I'll be right back. Hey, Phil. Somebody's there looking to trick your treat, but that doesn't mean you should start barking. Hey, stop it. Sit. I stop that. Stop that. You don't, you don't mean that, buddy. You're such a nice dog. Why do you do that? Why do you act tough? You got to stop suffering. Make sure you don't play too hard. Sorry about the dog. Why do you not bark at people, buddy? <coughs> Maybe that's on a 13 here on the side. Okay, hang on. Let me do sideboard here. Um, so they're just mono removal. So I think we're just going to bring in all of these. I bet they're going to have... My opponent's pretty likely to have, um, God, I don't even know how to sideboard. I kind of want to take out my spot removal, have counter spells, <coughs> and I kind of Neutral bolts, battle rage, brutality to take more uh, sweepers, give it a little more reach. Brutality is probably kind of loose. Now that I think about it, they could have a, they could be a chalice deck. Yeah, let's just hedge. Let's like it's pretty reasonable for them to be a chalice deck. <coughs> uh, third battle rage is decent. Like. There are times when I've played it, and there are times when I haven't. Rafi. Rafi, you want to see the cutest thing of all time? All right, I will lead off. Uh, this hand is pretty solid. We shall keep it. The question is, do I lead on a fetch land <coughs> to fetch steam vents? That's probably a yes. I could looting on one, but I don't really want to do that. This hand's kind of medium. The strokes are like... I wonder how many targets they have. They probably have like four mana walkers. Also, like Chandra... I'm not going to flash you, no. If I was going to flash you, I would do it in such a medium so that it wouldn't be all over Twitch. Give me some credit. Alright, so we can get nasty. <coughs> I'm a big fan of. Let's get rid of one of these. And then we probably just get rid of this stroke. Leaves us a little naked to, um, I should have kept the land so I can play a shadow. That's what I'm going to use. Doesn't matter if we board out our Snapcasters. But if I had the land in play, I could have played shadow next turn to kind of increase the clock. That was... God, this deck is like the anti-shadow like thingamajigger. Holy shnikes. They drew oust in both games. So either they're unreal unreasonably lucky. What is this? Alright, get that out of here. Either they're unreasonably lucky. Or they just play a lot of ousts. They're on that oust life. Now we're just kind of in a holding pattern. <clears throat> <coughs> Do 
give me something to stub or stroke. Now I'm going to stub this. Because we don't waste to cast threats, Rafi. We jam them. Ooh, pitch the Simeon Spirit Guide. All right. Getting wrecked by Chalice, too. Man, you guys are out here all, like, thinking about plays and stuff, and I just want to, like, get them out there. All right, shields are down. I hate playing against decks like these, too, because I haven't played against them, like, Geez, some crow. They're just like jam a death shadow. <coughs> I've never seen so many decks with oust in them. Like I wonder, like if I draw land, uh, if I draw land next turn, though, I'm closer to playing a shadow. Dude, this is the only, like, holy shit. <coughs> We're doing that just to make it so that we get closer to casting the Gurmag Angler. All right. We're going to take about two or three more draw steps here. Because I don't have to take this. Are you going to get mooned? Are you going to moon me? No, you're going to play Sarkin. All right, let's get you back. <coughs> Shuffle back your Emrakul. All right. I am not 100% dead here, but I have had enough. I guess that makes sense why he has oust. Then Rafi. Why do we have to why does the Death Shadow deck have to run into the oust deck? I brought home a bunch of Snickers yesterday for trick-or-treating. My wife goes, did you bring any Reese's? And I was like, uh, no. It's for the kids. Because like, I was just making that joke because that's what she was meaning. And she just looked at me and then come home today and there are Reese's. I was like, why, Megan? Do you want to eat the cake? The, the, <clears throat> do you want to eat the, uh, the, where am I going to this? Playing against Cat. <coughs> she 
She's on play. Stands pretty soft to ban spirits, but I would keep this in the dark. Anyways, we don't want this. We want another fetch land to either go double shadow and overwhelm her. Oh, she's playing storm. Okay. This is going to get us a black red land. And we're going to hold our Street Wraith for next turn to couple it with a Serum Visions. Are the kids in the stream? They are not. Unsubstantiate's pretty solid. <coughs> How you doing, Tim? What does she got here? So she hit a cantrip. Yeah, we we can just wheel through this. So it's kind of interesting. If we commit to the serum visions, we're not going to be able to play shadow. Oh, thanks, Tim. Six months watching YouTube videos for the first. Vids for the first time actually catching your stream. Nice, nice. So that's what YouTube's for. And it's just easy too. Like you don't have to do anything. All right, so this is all changing now. So I get kind of wrecked. <clears throat> so we know three out of our four cards, and for this, and for this to punish us, so. If her last two cards are exactly like Ritual Grave Shot, we get punished a lot by playing two Shadows. Like we basically lose the game. But we're probably just going to go for, we're going to go for the, uh, we're going to go for Gusto here. Though, she has the Serum Vision. All right, so now we're in good shape. So we're actually just going to, we're going to bait her here. Because we hit the Serum Vision, this uh, Street Wraith here. So even if she decides to go for like a mini Grape Shot, that we've got it covered. Because I don't think there's a way for... Unless she just hits a million Metamorphos in a row. And if she does that, like, good on her. <coughs> How are you doing tonight, Tim? Did you see that amazing tweet? All my best tweets include my dog. It's probably... I probably should just stream a go... Like, a selfie stick attached to, attached to Phil. But I should just stop streaming Moto and just start streaming Phil. Like, Dad, can you take this thing off me? I'll take it off you, Phil. You don't look like you're enjoying it. It's so cute, though. It would have been better if I had felt better and I had, like, a basketball jersey. I would watch that. <coughs> She's got the unsub for a bit of disruption. So, like, we're not just going to be able to go hog wild and kill her. Unless we go, like, Serum Visions into Stubborn. Like, 
we're we're in a pretty solid spot here. What is this? <clears throat> so I think what she's debating about here is whether or not she can get away with going like ritual into grape shot. Okay, no, I was I had it all wrong. So now we want a removal spell. Pretty bad. Wow. So let's start here. Whew. Oh shoot. That's alright. I'm gonna have to fetch away one of those. It's okay. So now let's figure out what's going on here. Let's figure out if we can kill her over two turns. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to take the unsub, push this crack for 16, and kill her through whatever she does next turn. That was a nice hit. And get in there for 16, and we've got her through a blocker. We just had to get rid of the uh, the unsub. I guess the unsub, it didn't matter. I mean, she could hit a land and then go, like, Baral unsub, but then we would just hit the Baral. Like, we're either taking unsub or Baral. So she needs, two, she needs two draws regardless of what she does. So we know Cat sideboards. She she got me a couple months ago, where she sideboarded into Thing in the Ice. So let's not get Thinged this time. We want Stub. I'm gonna bring in the three pushes. I don't like Dismember. I like just enough removal, but not too much. And I, like they're gonna they turn into much more of a burn deck after sideboard. So we're gonna bring in this Brutality. On the draw, I'm going to shave an Angler and bring in another Brutality. I could, uh, on the play, I'm going to switch that. The fact that Angler doesn't get under remand on the draws is, is pretty pretty backbreaking. I could ditch a Looting and then bring in like another Snapcaster Mage or another good spell because our deck's much more honed here after sideboard. I think I'm going to do that. I think that the Looting is like not very good once because going down a card after sideboard is... Is a little costly. So what do I want to leave in? Probably just a lightning bolt. Probably just one more removal spell. Hey, thanks, uh, Doug here. <coughs> uh, tick, Tiki G Mirror Breaker. Yeah, his stream is done. He's over. He sent his people over to my channel. Thank you very much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Hope all's going well. I don't really want... I guess four removal spells is alright. We'll go like this. I definitely think... You should... Be... Um, um, you, you should be, like, willing to sideboard it out. Because... 
like once you don't have the wrong half problem, the it does get much worse. <coughs> Dougie, Dougie, Dougie Fresh, not Dougie, my fault. Wasn't reading correctly. Oh god, I don't think you can mulligan a double discard hand, but this hand's a little clunky. Besides that, we do have a redraw for free, which is nice. And there are, we do have a set of draws that do get us a shadow on two. But his hand's definitely a little gross. Let's see what is she is cooking with. I'm gonna lead off on a. Well, I'm gonna lead off on an Inquisition. Yeah, we're up a game. We kept kind of a sketcher. All right, let's get this brawl out of here. <coughs> Teddy says that one zero against Teddy. And Dylan, you are you 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 have defeated me, Dalloway. From the you have indirectly defeated me. Well, I beat you. Didn't I beat you? We were playing uh, at a team event one time. You beat me through cat. <laughs> we're not gonna get got by thing in the ice. We boarded in. We got our pushes. So we're not going to get got there. We kept kind of a sketcher. We kept these, these right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You beat me with you. Oh yes, I was playing humans. Yeah, you're right. That was the one tournament I picked up humans for. Playing against Cat, Brandon. I just messaged her. So Dalloway says you suck. But I figured that you know that'll get off. That'll be always be good. Why don't you play humans more? I just don't enjoy it as much. It is a very good deck, but I just do not enjoy the games as much. It's a little awkward. This is kind of what we signed up for though. Like we kept. A lot of, you know, good disruption, but not a lot of lands that allow us to get it into play. <clears throat> this is awkward. I'm over here just... Doing nothing. It does kind of suck that we had a handful of not blue cards and not blue lands, but then we drew nothing but blue spells, but not blue lands afterwards. I'm a difficult person to root for, not gonna lie. This is bad. Yeah, you got it, cat. F six in. Looks like our deck plays more blue than red spells. Well, Teddy, we kept we kept this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exactly this right here. On the draw. Against Storm. But I think that's a tough one to toss back. 
Queen beat wrong. <laughs> Yeah, just awkward. I'm not going to play the Snapcaster Mage because she's still sitting there with a the remand. And if she wants to remand a Serum Visions, then like... I guess. I kind of, as odd as this sounds, I kind of want a fifth land. I kind of want another blue source. And we've got enough gas that as long as we can like continue to cast spells, we're going to be okay. And I think casting, we're going to need to cast one more blue spell a turn. We're pretty much roller skating on a buffalo herd here. Like, you know, we don't have a lot going on. She doesn't have a lot going on. <clears throat> it's like the first person. I mean, at least I get to crack her for five next turn. And maybe we hit something that does something. She bolts my Death Shadow, though. I'm going to hurl. Probably actually just going to lead off with a Snapcaster Mage. Might as well just, there's no reason not to play this. So let's go Snapcaster Mage into a Thoughtseize. It's Grow's Shadow. Uh, Thoughtseize might be a little loose there. But Thoughtseize does make this a two-turn clock, right? Five, seven, correct them for 11. Not quite a two-turn clock. I probably should have thought about that more. <coughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, it's right to take the Desperate Ritual, right? She can splice it. Thought sees proof. I like your list, all the way. It's been, uh, this is my second league with it. I won four matches the first league, and we're two and one in this league. We're just going to look for a way to kill her. Like we're just going to race car here. If she hits it, she hits it. That probably would have been better. I'm going to tad, uh, I'm going to tad under the weather, not super with it. Yeah, I should have definitely cantrip because, like, if she has four cards in her hand and she's not killing me, then obviously she's missing a piece. And with five lands in play, there's no piece that's going to, like, actually do anything to me. So that was not good. Not good at all. All right, Metamorphose, solid, solid hit. All right, what does she do with this op? She put it on the bottom. Oh, she put a card on top. I'm fairly certain if she's putting a card on top, it's not good. Oh, it's the Metamorphose, okay. So that's just putting it on top, it's the exact same thing as putting it on the bottom, so you might as well cast it. Yeah, so she's she's dead because even if I don't hit away a deal damage to myself, I crack her to one and she can't cast red spells. And I doubt that she has a basic mountain or a sulfur falls in her deck in order to be able to cast red spells. She theoretically can like metamorphose into it, but she's got three metamorphose down, so she's effectively got one turn next turn. <coughs> Oh, 
All right, let's get back in here. Oh, shit, we're going for the 4-1. Storm does play a basic mountain? Okay. I couldn't remember if it did. So yeah, I like this I like this list all the way. I think we have our Yeah. People are gonna three in game one. So like you know, I beat him. Then I kept I kept kind of a sketcher. I kept like a uh, a multiple discard spell faithless looting sketcher in game two and never hit a second land. <laughs> And then just kind of shattered him in game three. Sands a heater. So turn we're gonna get nasty on two. If we hit a these are the kind of hands where if we hit a bobble or a street race, we can play Gurmag Angler on two if we don't discard spell them. Is it the same guy? No. I did lose to a weird sun and moon deck. That ousted me into the middle of nowhere. Now oh, let's play this land. <coughs> I'm gonna fetch Blood Crypt so that I don't have to fetch to cast my Faithless Looting next turn. Just delay a decision. Like I'm going to fetch a blue source at some point, but I wanna make sure I fetch the right blue source. Yeah. That's what we're doing here. Okay. All right. So, like, we're just going to take this SRAM. Rafi, you do not ever sit down at a Magic game and expect an Alice to be there. I'm just calling, I'm calling absolute BS. With that. All right. So, we don't need this. Um... We almost don't even need this Snapcaster Mage. I kind of just want... Or we could just ditch the third land also. <coughs> like, this, we're not... The Snapcaster Mage isn't going to do anything because we're going to delve our whole graveyard. Though, yeah, I'm going to delve the Snapcaster Mage because I am going to want three blue sources. Because I'm going to want to be able to, like, Serum Visions with Stubborn Denial up. At some point. Though, you know, the opinion that it might just be that I play this Dermag Angler and I don't cast another spell besides, you know, Dismember, Stub, or Snap, Dismember, or Stub. It's like, that's a whole other line that I could have thought about there. <coughs> yeah, that's what I, uh, that's what I got to. Let's crack in with Nasty. You hated playing this Gurmag. I guess I get your point. You just held up the disc out there. Or the, uh, not the, the disc member, or the, I guess disc stub, if we want to combo them. I guess we're going to, like, <coughs> I guess we are, I guess, like, we are far enough into, like, I guess I don't even want either of these. Like, I just want, like, a Battle Rage. We're, like, far enough ahead where we should play, like, the How Do We Lose game. And I guess How We Lose is them top decking into what they need to top deck into. Yeah, you're right, Brandon. That was loose. Yours just gets there faster. <laughs> Tonight is fast and loose. I'm under the weather. We are just slinging spells. Now we're just going to attack twice and bolt down. Stub bolt. 
I just like might as well cast my serum visions. I can just shock and still have stub, bolt, and dismember going on. Put on the bottom, put on the bottom. <coughs> Dude, that's how this stream is. This stream is fast and loose. Bolt you. Attack you. Should have serum first. Get all the info before the attack. I think that brutality is like I could get behind cutting brutality, depending on how much burn you're going to play. I think that burn is like a good, a good matchup for Death Shadow. But if you play against a really good burn player, especially if they're packing exquisite firecrafts, brutality is really nice. Is Martin Pyromancer like going on there? So <laughs> hey, sorry, I, I gotta go. Uh, gotta go trick or treat. I'll be right back. Hey, none of that. No. Hey, Philly, stop. Hey. Hey. Hey, stop that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sit. Sit. He's not. He's just a big cake. He's not going to do anything like this. You guys look like the referee. Try dressing up. You guys look so amazing. Dude, yeah, Phil is such a baby. So, all right. I don't even know really what we need. Because, like, this matchup seems, like, pretty straightforward anyways. Like, we probably can cut Battle Rage. We don't need Battle Rage. Um, Probably just, like, another removal spell just because that's how we lose. Uh, look at that. That's what I do. I'm there for people. I mean, like, Surgical's probably, yeah, it's like, it's like a, just like a dumb, cheap removal spells or Surgical, just because, like, I'm pretty sure if you Surgical a Retract, they can't win. No, they can Grape Shot you out. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I could cut Snapcaster Mage, but if we ever get to the point where we're just set, Snapcaster Mage is, like, another way to just do that. No, I should have a stub in. I should cut like a Gurmag Angler because they could have rest in peace. That was stupid. I should like minus one, plus one. I got, like they could play rest in peace pretty easily. I probably could have just shaved in the brain. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Teddy. They could, yeah, Psy would make sense there, Riff Raff. Okay, so... <clears throat> We can't keep this hand. <coughs> we see a lot of cards, but it is just air. Because we need, like, disruption and threats, and I'm not really down for that. All right. I don't like these kind of hands. I don't like keeping sevens that need two things. That hand needs that hand needs disruption and that hand needs threats. I would much rather just go down to six. And like by the time I find what I need, they could kill me. If that hand had a removal spell, it had what did it have? It had a removal spell. It had a dismember. Ha <laughs> 
I will slap you, dude. This isn't a normal matchup. But you were still playing against a combo deck. Like, like I hate... This is like, hardly disruption. Like, if you're looking at what this is here... <laughs> so what do we want to do here? So we can take this Grape Shot. Then they draw a card next turn. We take... We take Pure Steel Paladin, it just slows them down. It doesn't actually slow them down though, right? Because they return it. This is annoying. You're so mean, Brandon. <coughs> I think I want to take... I almost want to take this Shield, or I want to take Grape Shot. Stop slow rolling your 4-1. I want to do it right, Rafi. I really just want to take this shield. They can fetch Godless Shrine off of this. They don't even need to do that. They just can't be right to take this shield here. They have two of them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like I'm sitting here and I almost want to take this Cathar shield. Or this grape shot. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take this shield. No, they have so many ways to... What is this to do here? Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Metalcraft... This is not good. I think they only play one Noxious. So I think I'm just going to take this Grape Shot. And then hopefully find a way to deal with this Paladin. And then go for it. <coughs> what are you talking about, Teddy? This deck plays one. This deck plays one, but they play a Noxious. At least I believe. Yeah, well, taking one of these is, like, kind of mad. But it's kind of what we got to do, I guess. We got to slog through this crap. Do they play two or three? They play two Noxious? Okay. What if it's right to take the shield? So they drew one. <coughs> so I take the shield, I only give them one draw step. Alright, so they're just suiting it up, so they bricked. Okay. The bolt doesn't do it. What am I looking for? Do I bolt myself? To get a shadow in play. I think bolting myself and putting a shadow into play isn't like an actual way for me to win the game. So I think we're going to dig for like Fatal Push or um, we don't. I don't think we want this. Well, this angler is actually it's two threats, so it lets us get get around this thing. Because next turn we can at least get two into play. Yeah, I'm gonna do this so that we get two two threats next turn. We're drawing a SRAM. I think angler is better than a random draw, Brandon. Well, two shadows, two two threats is what's gonna need it. I either need two threats or a fatal push. Like, the Fatal Push is, in my opinion, the only thing that's better than a Kermak Angler here. <coughs> then it kind of sucks they drew this ramp, but... Oh, turn off auto yields.
<laughs> yeah, I need to find push and stub, but I think that like if I want to take a random draw step or do I want to give something that like pushes the game forward and having, you know, a five, five and a three, three in play is going to help move the game forward in my way. Like push or stub are the two best draws, but I think that these are pretty important as well. Like these are the next best draws. And I think it's better than a random, especially when enough of our dead deck is just a dud. Let's cast this first. <coughs> All right, so there's a stub. But like, how good is, like stub's not even that good, right? Now that they have this SRAM. Yeah, stub's not even good because they, uh, but no, Brandon, like stub's not even good because they're still drawing a card. It starts retract, yes, but like, they're still just going to be able to go off, though. Hits retract and claim. So claim doesn't matter anymore, right, because they have these two creatures. So we don't even have to worry about this. <clears throat> But I need Stubborn Denial in order to make Fatal Push any good. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep that on top, but I'm not going to hold it up. I'm going to play two threats. Because we need, we need two cards in order to be able to stop what's going on. So, like, I'm just going to shorten the game. That's what I'm going to try to do here. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and hold behind these two threats here, because they're still just drawing a card every turn, and if they hit... It just sucks, because I can sit here and hold up Stubborn Denial, and they can still go off, and then I can't attack through what they're doing. <coughs> yeah, we're just going to end... We're going to try to end this game. It's like we're just kind of in a tough spot no matter what here. And we just have to hope they brick. Which looks like they bricked. We definitely want to see... Okay. What? Oh, they're just, they're attacking me. I'm so confused. All right. All right. I too am confused. <laughs> oh, this is nice because now our stub now our stub's actually good. <coughs> oh, this is coming up Millhouse now, baby. Let's get in here. They're going to block five of it. Yeah, my opponent is just like... Uh, yeah, yeah I, mean, I guess they're just... I don't know. Right-click attack all. <laughs> yeah. This is great. I guess like I shouldn't have spent so much time thinking about what I wanted to do if we knew this was going to happen. Then we're just going to play another one. This is insane, because now my stub, like, I can stub a Cathar shield if I want. Is that right to do? I don't know, but it's an opportunity that I have. I beat Dredge twice earlier, Brandon, with this list. Not during this league, but during my previous league. 
I'm just going to go out and say I think that's just a good matchup. I think Creeping Chill, while they can cheese you out, it doesn't do anything. <coughs> so now we just stub this, right? They have three cards. I should have thought about this before I made that attack. I kind of have to stub this because then they're drawing two cards a turn. If I want to, whatever else I do. Yeah, no, I don't even think it's like, I think it's good. Like, I don't, I'm not, like, I don't. Oh, all right. I don't even, I beat Dredge when I don't draw Battle Ray Droppy. Like, I just don't, I think the deck is so much more inconsistent now. Yeah, we're super dead. Tilt. The deck's so much more inconsistent now. They just need to, like, show me a mox. <coughs> they have to find, they have to show me a red source, and then I'm dead. Well, no, I don't have a draw, Brandon. If they have a mox opal, then I'm dead, because they have a grape shot. Yeah, now I'm dead. Yeah, the dredge deck is so much more inconsistent now. Like, after cutting... Like, I believe Ross Miriam said that uh, they cut two dredgers and a land to make room, and then one other random card to make room for the creeping chills, which just means the deck is so much more susceptible to, uh, to discard. <coughs> to disruption now. Okay. Do we want to change anything? We want one more of these. Um, I think I want to cut a Snapcaster Mage. Instead, I think I want the Gurmag Angler on the play because it's just a clock. Yeah, the deck's just so much more inconsistent now. Like, it's more explosive. It has a higher ceiling, but it has a lower floor. And decks like Death Shadow want to play against decks that have potential low floors because their job is to make that low floor come out. I don't know what else to cut. Like, we have such good interaction. Unless it's just, like, cut Snapcaster Mage, which I can, I'm kind of down with. Like, I'm kind of down with cutting Snapcaster Mage, bringing in Battle Rage, maybe, like, cutting a land. But if I was going to cut the land, I'd bring in, like, Surgical. <coughs> Like, we just don't even really need these Snapcasters in all reality. Like, if we just have a hand that's, like, threat disruption, like, they just can't beat that. I'm going to go like this. The only other cards I would bring in maybe are, like, Surgical Extraction. And I can kind of get behind bringing in Extraction if I want to cut a land. Because our curve is, we have no more three-mana plays. And I went down to 16 lands where I play against Tron most of the time. Now, it just cuts down my, it cuts out my reasonable games of magic, I think. <clears throat> and I need to be able to go like spell, spell, like they're going to put pressure on me quickly. It's not like Tron where sometimes I can, um, where I can, like, like against Tron, I can afford to stumble a little bit if I have Disruption early. Against this deck, I can't the Disruption. Like, I, I do, I do act, like, I usually board down to 16 lands when I play against Tron. I really want to get this 4-1. God. See, like, I think I have to mulligan, because... Like, it, it's, it sets up a really fast Gurt. Like, if I find a Gurmag Angler in the top three cards of my deck, <coughs> then this hand's good. But if I don't find a Gurmag Angler, this hand's not good. So, like, I'm going to mulligan. If this was another fetch land, I'd think about it, because then I could go, like, blue spell, blue spell. But we currently can't do that. Uh, so this is, like, 
I mean, we're going to keep this. We have a discard spell and a removal spell. We want to keep a blue fetch land on top of our deck. Opponent Mulligan. Blue fetch land. Yes. <coughs> right. You're so smart and thin. I'm smart. I'm not necessarily thin. So I didn't put a card on top. So I'm still just going to take this for trash. But I would like to know. Because like if they kept the card on top, we guarantee know that it's a that it's a uh, whatever, one of their bears. Okay, so three, four, five. If I hit a street wraith or a bobble. Then I can play. I have seven outs, right? Two, five, one more mana. So I'm going to Thought Scour now. I don't think there's going to be anything that I want to stub, especially when I have Dismember. <coughs> and we've got seven outs to play to get nasty here. Whether we do that or not is another thought, but. I like just jamming these things out here. I'm a big fan of just playing this deck streamlined and aggressive. I think this is where we 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 go different there, Mr. Dalloway. How's it going, Cryofang? A land here would be sweet. Nice. So we're going to crack this. Uh, we're just going to get Steam Vents to make sure we're right here. And now we just don't cast another spell the rest of the game. <coughs> I guess maybe it's not right to do here, but like I tend to take that, um, that strategy while playing the deck in other places, I guess. So, like, here, sure, if I would have played that angler, it would have been wrong. And them drawing <coughs> a bear would have killed me, and I would have lost the game. I'll, I'll, def I'll concede that. Oh, this is a good one. I think we want to do this in case we rip a shadow. Yes, I'll agree. I'll agree that there it's not right. I'm a tad, but I'm a tad under the weather, so we're checking out a little bit here. Like we're definitely, like I said, we're playing fast and loose tonight. The match I lost is definitely a match where if I was thinking, I would have won. I think, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. They had oust. I got four for. I got three for one by an oust. <coughs> the old main deck oust. <clears throat> Looks like OBS is working on it here. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to cast this Serum Visions because... Give me one second, just restart the stream. I'm just going to I'm going to attack here.
playing kind of fast and loose here. We're trying to like figure out what's going on with our OBS here. 